so we shall consider this uh, solid so this is known as a locating guide so in this problem what we are intending to do is we will be drawing a front view top view and a left side view. so that is what we are aiming to do we will be we are trying to draw a front view a top view and a right side view so we shall take a right side view so in the previous problems we have done with left side view so in this problem we shall do a right side view so in this case the direction of the front view is already indicated here using an arrow head so this is the direction in which we have to observe this diagram in order to get a front view so this is the front view direction so this is the front view this is the right side and this is the left side of this diagram so uh, right side view means we have to observe it from this region you have to observe it from this region in order to get a right side view okay so when you are observing it from the right uh, you imagine that we are having a plane of projection here so you will be getting a image here and we will be just tilting it to the left hand side okay so here i already have done drawn an x y line and an x1 y1 line so if you notice in all the previous problem i have drawn this x y x1 y1 line to the right hand side but here i have drawn the x1 y1 line to the left hand side because here i am going to draw a right side view right side view will be on the left side of the actual front view and top view so here in this region i will be drawing the front view and in this region i will be drawing the top view of this locating guide so let us see which all surfaces will be visible in the front view in the front view you can see that you are having a, a, a surface here which is having a thickness of 12 mm and here we are having throughout this length we are having a surface here so this surface will be visible so partially it is a uh, to some extent it is a straight surface and from here we are having a curved surface so up to this length it is having a length of 65 mm and here we are having a curved like surface so from this point to this point the distance is 25 here it is r25 so you can take that from this point to this point the distance will be 25 so totally the length in the front view will be 65 plus 25 which is equal to 90 mm again in the front view you will be able to see this region so this is the direction of the front view you will be able to see this 25 mm into 30 mm so this rectangular face will be visible in the front view and in the front view uh, you won't be able to see this hole here we are having a circular hole so this is a circular hole of diameter 25 but this hole will be invisible in the front view. so these are the portions that are visible and invisible in the uh, in the front view and let us think about the top view in the top view you'll be able to see this 12 into 30 this rectangle will be visible in the top view and this surface this surface including this curved surface will be visible in the top view and this hole also will be completely visible in the top view no other surfaces will be visible in the top view and let us consider the side view the right side view to be specific so in this case when you are uh, viewing this solid from the right side we will be able to see this surface but you won't be able to see this side this side it will be invisible but this side it will be visible this side it will be visible in the side view and along with that this rectangle so what is the size of this rectangle this rectangle will be 12 into 25 so here it is 25 here it is 12 so this rectangle will be visible so this rectangle this curved surface both of them will be visible in the side view and this hole will be invisible on the side view so i shall just color it for having a better understanding of this uh, solid and we shall do the front view top view and the right side view so in the front view we will be able to see this orange colored surface completely and this surface is somewhat extending to the rear side also but that's portion will not be visible and this green colored surface will be visible so in the front view nothing else will be visible and this hole will be the circular hole will be invisible so we shall draw the symbol front view here on to the top of this x y line so what is the total length of the front view total length is 65 plus this 25 so 65 plus 25 it is equal to 90 mm so total length is 90 mm you leave some distance from this x1 y1 line and start it somewhere from here and make sure that you are having 90 mm to the right hand side
the thickness is 12 mm so we shall take 12 mm on either sides Now we shall draw this green colored rectangle this is 25 into 30 so it is on to the leftmost extreme of this solid so on to the leftmost extreme 25 into 30. Now in the front view we are having this hole which is invisible. So as it is invisible, we have to draw the outline of the hole using the thick line. So how to locate it? So at a distance of 65 from the left hand side, we are having the center of this corresponding hole. First, we shall mark an axis of symmetry on this solid. So 65. Now this hole is totally having a diameter of 25. So this is totally 25. So half will be 12.5 and 12.5 is. So from this axis of symmetry, it is 12.5 to the right hand side and 12.5 to the left hand side. From this axis of symmetry, we shall draw a dash thick line to the right hand side, 12.5 mm away. And to the left hand side also 12.5 mm away. Now we shall draw the top view in this region by extending projectors from the front view. So in the top view, the total width in this direction of this particular solid is 38 into, sorry, it is 38 plus 12, which is equal to 50. So the total width along this direction is 38 plus 12, it is 50. So we shall draw a 50 mm long line onto the extreme left of the top view. So 50 mm. Now we are having a straight surface up to 65 mm. So in this side and on the rear side also we are having this straight surface this straight edge up to 65 mm from the rear side then it is having a curved surface also so we shall draw 65 each on either sides So totally this is 50, we shall mark the center at 25. Now using our compass, we shall draw an arc here with a radius of radius 25. Now to the center, we are having a circular hole of diameter. 25 so the radius will be 12.5 so we shall draw that circular hole with a radius of 12.5 again in the top view this yellow colored rectangle this is 12 into 30 which is on the leftmost corner on the top side it will be visible so here this 12 into 30 that is what we are going to draw next we shall draw two axis of symmetries here now we shall draw the side view when you are observing from the side, this blue colored rectangular face and this curved surface will be visible. Again, the hole which is present here, it will be invisible. So we shall draw it by 
either you can draw it directly on this surface or you can just extend the projectors by taking the help of the extended projectors also we, should, we can draw the side view here. It is not necessary that you have to extend projectors onto the left hand side. Without extending projectors also you can draw the side view. It is extended, I, here I have extended it only for getting a better idea of the height of the side view. So first is we have to represent this circular surface, this curved surface. So the thickness is, here the thickness is 12 and the total width is 50 mm. 38 plus 12, this total width is 50 mm. So I shall draw a 50 mm long line here. and a height of 12. Already we have drawn a projector from height 12 so you need to just draw it at 12. Here to the center of it, uh, we are having a circle also. So, when you are observing from the right side view, this circle is not, this circular hole is not visible on the side view, but you have to represent it as an invisible outline in the side view. So, from the center, you take 12.5 and 12.5 to either sides, and you have to represent it using dashed thick lines. So, from the center to the center, you draw a chain line. Then 12.5 and 12.5 to other either sides. Now we shall draw this rectangle at the, when you are observing it from this right side view, this is onto the right side of this solid. It is 12 and height 25. So onto this leftmost side, we shall draw that 12 and 25. Now we shall do the dimensioning process.